The Toronto and York Radial Railway was a transit operator providing services to the suburbs of Toronto, Ontario, Canada. It was a subsidiary of the Toronto Railway Company. The company was created by merging four Toronto area railway operations. The company was part of the empire of railway entrepreneurs Sir William Mackenzie and Donald Mann which included the Canadian Northern Railway and the parent Toronto Railway Company. Topic lines The table lists the four lines composing the T&YRR. Each line became a separate division of the T&YRR except for the Schomburg and Aurora which was a branch of the Metropolitan Division. Click on the predecessor company name for further details about each line. In 1904, the four predecessor companies were merged to form the Toronto and York Radial Railway. Topic. Timeline Topic Pre T and YRR era 1885 to 1904 events prior to the merger creating the T and YRR in 1904 in 1885 the Metropolitan Street Railway Company of Toronto incorporated March 2, 1877 renamed Metropolitan Railway Company in 1897 started a horse car line on Young Street on September 1890 electric service began on the Metropolitan line on 16 July 16 1892 the Toronto Toronto and Mimico Electric Railway and Light Company incorporated November 14, 1890 began initial service between Sunnyside Toronto and the Humber River. On July 1, 1893, the Toronto and Scarborough Electric Railway, Light and Power Company incorporated August 18, 1892 started electric, radial operations. On July 5, 1893, the Toronto Railway Company acquired controlling interest in the Toronto and Mimico Electric Railway and Light Company. On July 10, 1893, the Toronto and Mimico Electric Railway and Light Company extended service from Humber River to Mimico Creek, and further to Etobicoke Creek Long Branch on September 29, 1893. On March 6, 1895, the Toronto Railway Company acquired controlling interest in the Toronto and Scarborough Electric Railway, Light and Power Company. By 1899, the Metropolitan Line was extended to Aurora and Newmarket. In 1903, Toronto and Mimico Electric Railway and Light Company changed its name to the Toronto and Mimico Railway Company. Topic Mackenzie and Mann era 1904 to 1921 events when the T and YRR was under the control of William Mackenzie and Donald Mann on August 1, 1904, the T and YRR merged four rail operations, converting them into three T and YRR divisions, with the Metropolitan Division having a branch line, Metropolitan Street Railway to become the T and YRR Metropolitan Division Schomburg and Aurora Railway to become the Schomburg and Aurora branch of the Metropolitan Division Toronto and Sky Scarborough Electric Railway, Light and Power Company to become the T&YRR Scarborough Division Toronto and Mimico Electric Railway and Light Company to become the T&YRR Mimico Division in 1904, regular passenger service started on the Schomburg and Aurora branch of the T&YRR's Metropolitan Division. At this time, the line operated with steam trains. On December 24, 1905, the Mimico line was extended from Long Branch to Port Credit. On June 1, 1907, the T and YRR opened a 40 km (25 miles) extension of the Metropolitan line from Newmarket to Jackson's Point. On January 1, 1909, the T and YRR opened a 2.4 km (1.5 miles) extension of the Metropolitan line from Jackson's Point to Sutton. On June 25, 1915, a City of Toronto work team ripped up the tracks of the Metropolitan Line along Young Street from the CPR Crosstown Line north to Farnham Avenue. This was a result of a dispute between the city led by Mayor Tommy Church and the T and YRR. Mayor Church complained about the inadequate services provided by the Mackenzie Man Traction Companies, which included the Toronto Railway Company as well as the T and YRR. This was the first contraction of the T and YRR, albeit only 400 meters (1,300 feet) long. In 1916, electrification of the Schomburg and Aurora branch was completed. In 1921, a plebiscite approved the purchase by the City of Toronto of the Toronto Railway Company and the T and YRR. 
The Toronto Transportation Commission was to operate all radial lines within the city limits. On September 1, 1921, the TTC took over operation of all streetcar operations in the city, and shortly after took control of those portions of the Scarborough and Mimico radial within the city limits. By fall, 1921, the TTC took over the portion of the Metropolitan Line on Young Street south of Glen Echo Road at the city limit. Topic Hydroelectric Era 1922 to 1927 Events when the TNYRR was managed by Hydroelectric Railways in August, 1922, the City of Toronto formally acquired the TNYRR lines. On November 1, 1922, operation of the TNYRR was taken over by Hydroelectric Power Commission of Ontario and run as the Hydroelectric Railways, Toronto and York Division. Hydro made improvements to both the Metropolitan and Mimico lines. At the end of 1923, the TNYRR under hydro management had a deficit. The city blamed hydro mismanagement. Hydro blamed the TTC's acquisition of the profitable portions of the radial lines within the city limits. By 1925, Toronto City Council felt that integrating the radials within TTC operations would produce efficiency by avoiding duplication of carhouses and shops, by allowing the transfer of vehicles between radial and city lines to meet passenger demand, and by having firmer control over expenditures. Topic TTC era 1927 to 1948 events when the TTC operated the T&YRR Linison January 12, 1927 the Toronto Transportation Commission started operating the T&YRR lines under contract with operations being the responsibility of the TTC's new radial department along with three radial lines the TTC acquired 54 double-ended radial cars the TTC now operated the second largest electric railway in North America with 585 kilometers, 364 miles of lines. In June 1927, the Schomburg line was closed. On March 16, 1930, the TTC closed the Metropolitan line. On July 17, 1930, the TTC reopened a portion of the defunct Lake Shore line between Richmond Hill and Toronto as the North Young Railways. This line was owned by area municipalities and operated under contract by the TTC. On February 9, 1935, the Long Branch Port Credit Radial Service ended. On June 25, 1936, the Scarborough Radial Service ended. On October 9, 1948, service was terminated on the North Young Railways, the last surviving Toronto radial. Topic track gauge Both Toronto gauge and standard gauge were used. The T and Y radial lines did not use a common gauge until the TTC took over the operation of the surviving lines in 1927 in order to connect the radial lines to the Toronto streetcar system. The Metropolitan radial line started off with Toronto gauge in 1885, but switched to standard gauge after the Metropolitan Street Railway Company received provincial permission in 1895 to use any gauge it pleased. Standard gauge allowed the Metropolitan to exchange freight cars with steam railways. When the TTC took over the line in 1927, it converted the line to Toronto gauge but built a short section of four rail, dual gauge track in Aurora to deliver freight cars to a factory there. The Mimico radial line used Toronto gauge until 1922 when the hydroelectric railways converted the line to standard gauge. When the TTC took over the line in 1927, it converted the line back to Toronto gauge. The Scarborough radial line used only Toronto gauge throughout its years of operations. The Schomburg and Aurora line used only standard gauge throughout its years of operations. Topic comments Unlike the city systems, the radial interurban operators used larger rail cars. Radial routes ceased due to introduction of interurban buses and new highways that allowed for better access to many areas served by rail service. Rail service returned to some of the communities served by the T and YRR by Regional Rail Service of GO Transit in the 1970s. Topic: <laughs> Carhouses. 
A car house from the Metropolitan Street Railway off Yonge Street south of St. Clair Avenue was sold to the TTC in 1921 and sold again in 1924 to the Badminton and Racquet Club of Toronto. Much of this building was destroyed in fire on February 14, 2017. Topic. External links Wyatt, David A. History of Regional Transit in Toronto, Ontario. Retrieved 21 July 2007. Waiting for the streetcar in Georgina. Virtual Museum Canada. Retrieved 7 September 2016. Streetcar, Suburban and Interurban Map 1926-1926 Plan of Electric Rail Transit in Toronto and Guelph Areas by Roman Foman Published by Transit Toronto. Large PDF. Other Toronto area lines controlled by Sir William Mackenzie Niagara, Street. Catharines and Toronto Railway Toronto Suburban Railway Toronto Railway Company